Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. So if you are like me, you probably also enjoy playing around with UI libraries. I mean, who has time to build everything from ground up, right? But if you are bored with all these mainstream UI libraries and looking to try something new, then stick around because in this video, I will share four React based UI libraries that you probably haven't used before. Number one, we have Origin UI. If you like Shatsian, then you love this UI library. It's kind of like a extension of Shatsian that offers a lot more components uh, than you will get on a base Shatsian. So for example, uh, if you check input, you can see it has all the typical looking Shatsian inputs, but it also have a lot of extra ones like uh, error inputs, uh, inputs with add-ons, uh, currency inputs, uh, inline button inputs, and lots of uh, extra ones that you wouldn't have in Shatsian. Like this one looks good uh, for OTPs, might be a very good option. I also love this component where basically you can add different tags and it overall looks very clean. Uh, let's check some more. Uh, how about dialog? So here you have a typical alert dialog, but you also have ratings, which looks very nice. And changing pins, onboarding, which looks very nice and clean looking. Love it. And also search. So which I think probably is functional. Yeah, it is. And you can easily install this from Shatsian registry. So just run this command and it will pull the code in your code base. And here you can see that an example of how to actually use it. So yeah, great library. Check it out. Uh, I'll link everything in the description. Next, we have Retro UI. If you are bored with all traditional looking websites and think every website now looks like Shatsian, then you will love Retro UI. It has a very bold and retro vibe, kind of like a mix of old school and modern design, similar to websites like Gumroad, which aren't very traditional looking, but can give a very fun and unique uh, experience in your website. So let's check out some components. Let's go to dialogue. Uh, scroll down. So this one is a basic uh, confirmation dialogue. This one is with footer. There are also different size variants. There's some slight animation going on. This one is with form. And to install this, you can just basically follow along this installation guide. So like in this case, you have to install these uh, dependencies and then just copy paste these components uh, in your code base and you should be good to go. And the best part, I'm actually the creator of Retro UI. So make sure to check it out and let me know uh, your feedbacks. Moving on. Next, we have Coconut UI, which is another great library. It offers a lot of animated components. So for example, here, if you hover on it, you can see a slight animation. Uh, let's browse some components. Here we have an action search button. So if we click on it, you can see the option showing up in a nice animation. Uh, let's see some other ones. Pentagrid. Looks very nice, but I think Coconut UI looks better on dark mode. Yeah, so now you can see there's like a slight gradient going on and gives it like a glassy vibe. Kind of gives like a Vercel vibe. So if you love that style, I think you will love this library. And there's also some cool blocks like AI chat. Okay, so let's type something here. Hi. Does this work? Okay, so it's not functional, but uh, the UI is there and it looks very nice. And of course, you have the basic components as well. Like here you have a button, lots of different variants. Uh, I like this one. If you hold it, uh, it shows a slight animation. And yeah, uh, looks pretty cool. This one is pretty cool as well. And to install, you can basically copy the code from here or use the Shatsian registry. The last one we have is this one called 21st.dev. Although it's not a UI library itself, but it's a collection of lots of different libraries. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Browse components. So now you can see all these different buttons from different different UI libraries. And you can just easily pick whichever you like. So let's say we like this one. Just click on there. 
and it's gonna take you to that components uh, detail page and you can easily interact with it you can also see the code base and how to install it and i think this component is coming from the origin ui that we talked about so you can go to origin ui page and see all the components that origin ui has so let's get back to home page and see some other example we can also see some ai chats looks like is just ai components uh, this one looks good uh, so yeah looks good i guess there are some also variants nice and you can see the code looks like pretty shatsy in style right and you can also copy the prompt from here in case uh, you want to use v0 or some ai platforms uh, yeah the last thing i think we should see is the templates all the categories there's also design engineers so all the people who are making these cool ui libraries you can check them out i'm not here yet but hopefully pretty soon folks from 21st dev if you are watching this uh do knock me on today <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys like the video and yeah i'll see you guys next time Bye bye